Okay, today I got a DM about the cost of childcare, specifically for when kids enter public school age, because I have talked about it before, but just because your kids have left daycare, it does not mean that you will not be spending an arm and a leg on childcare, and I wanna break it down. But first, let me read you the DM. Okay, he said, when you say the cost of raising children doesn't go away when they get to school age, dot, 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 it's gotta go down at least a little though, right? Can you say more about this? We have two in daycare and I've been looking ahead to school as the light at the end of the tunnel, albeit a dim one. I don't like to pop people's bubbles, but I think so many people are unprepared for the cost of having kids in public school because there are things like before school care, after school care, Camp, vacation camp, all of these things add up and they add up fast. So I just broke it down by what I know to be true for where I live. And again, I'm in Massachusetts. So daycare costs on average are 20K per year. These are the costs that I have for after school care, etc. So after school care, where I live, it's $45 a day, give or take, if you need it till 6 p.m. And so for two kids, because that's what that guy had, at $45 a day, 180 days a year for the school year, you're looking at $16,200. So not nothing. Then there's before school care if you need it, which a lot of families do. My bus doesn't come till like almost 9 a.m. So if I have to start my job at 9 a.m. and I have to go to an office, that's not gonna work. Okay, before school care, two kids, it's $500 a year per kid where I live, so a thousand bucks. Not a big deal, not a money like pit over here. Like before school care is pretty reasonable. Then we've got camp. Camp is the one that's gonna break you when you look at it because one, it's impossible to register for, Prices are all over the place and they're really expensive. So the camps that we looked at, the YMCA camp near us is $450 a week. So two kids, $450 a week, 10 weeks, give or take, or maybe you're on vacation, but that costs money too. That's $9,000, okay? So those three things together, it's $26,200 to, uh, $26, for care. So yes, it's less than the $40,000 you're paying in daycare, but it's not nothing. And this does not even include school break weeks. So for us, we have break around the holidays, we have February break, we have April breaks, we have all these weeks that I also pay for some form of care for these kids. Then you have extracurriculars. Typically when your kids get to this age, they're doing something. They're doing something outside of the home. And so for us, it's about $150 per kid per month. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's for like average gymnastics class, one hour a week, 150 bucks a month. It's as good as it gets around here, unfortunately. And so you're looking at anywhere between 3,500 and $4,000 a month for those lower end costs. There are things that are much more expensive than that. And that's just for one extracurricular per kid, you know, for the year, give or take. So it adds up. If you add all those things together, it's about $30,000. So yes, there's a dim light at the end of the tunnel. You might save about $10,000, but I'm going to promise you, unfortunately, you might lose your sanity because if you thought getting your kid into daycare was hard, I, I don't know how to prepare you for summer camp registration or after school care registration or the millions of registrations you have coming your way because somehow it's almost more competitive than daycare. So I hope this was helpful.